it's exam results day. I was sick. All of the car is frosted over and we can't move yet. What if I don't pass? Outside of school now, I have my results here. Are you crying, Mum? Currently, I'm trying to get something out my eye. I think I've done it. I think I got it. Guys, it's exam results day, and it's currently six o'clock in the morning. Still dark outside. I'm awake, ready to go. And not only is it exam results day, the teachers are also on strike, so I don't know what's gonna happen at school today. I'm going to school, getting my exam results, and opening them on camera with you guys. And obviously, you guys are gonna come with me. Um, so before we get on with this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one, and stay tuned all the way to the end because these grades could be good, they could be bad, I could not pass, I could pass, so anything can really happen. And then as I said, the teachers are on strike. We don't have teachers at school currently today, so that's gonna be fun. I'm going to make myself look decent. I curled my hair last night. Okay, I'm currently in my bathroom at the moment. I need to brush my teeth and I've literally got a green toothbrush. My, the rest of my room is pink, so I need to invest in a pink toothbrush, but this is the one that I've been using. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really scared <laughs> for my results because I've been so stressed and I think that could portray onto my results. <laughs> All finished, back to my vanity. So as I said, I did curl my hair, but it's kind of dropped, but now it looks like a bouncy blow dry if I brush it out, which I'm quite happy with, to be fair. Um, and then I done my lashes last night. One of them just fell off here, so I need to reattach them. I just used the Primark lashes. They don't even look that good, but I need lashes on me or I look, or I feel like, or I feel insecure. So with exams and everything, these exams especially have been super stressful because they're my first proper exams. So I'm obviously going to get the results today. Quite scared about that, but I just want to get it all done and over with and this process over, so no more stress. And then until the next exams in June, no doubt you guys will be there with me once again. When I'm stressed, as you can see, I break out. As I said, guys, with my exams and everything, I've been super stressed out. So I have found this game called Match Masters which is such a cool game and it relaxes me so much. My mum's playing it now, my brother's playing it now, everybody's loving it. It's perfect to play when you've got a break from school, just to relax from schoolwork and exams and whatever stuff you're doing in school. I'm on the final round and I think I'm gonna win. I win! <laughs> The coolest part is they're actually giving away 10 $200 Amazon gift cards. All you have to do is download the Matchmasters app from the description down below or the QR code on the screen right now and collect 50 stars for the chance to win one. Also, by downloading the Matchmasters app, you can also join in the fun just like me and my family have. What would I do with a $200 Amazon gift card? I just wanted to show you my makeup bag. I got this for Christmas. My auntie Sarah brought it for me. And it's called the Flat Lay Co. And it's basically this bag. And then when you lay it down, it just, people have definitely seen this. It just like unfolds so that it's flat. You see me do my skincare, but obviously when I'm at school, we're not allowed, um, we're not allowed heavy makeup. Like we're not even allowed makeup at my school. It's super strict, which I think is a bit annoying. In my opinion, Makeup isn't just to make you look pretty, it's to express like how you feel and stuff like that. With schools and everything, I think we should be able to wear makeup. Like, realistically, it's not actually distracting anybody. Bronzer, who love bronzer toasted is always the best for me. This looks so patchy on the camera, it's not nearly as patchy in real life. When I'm using blush, I don't like to rub it. I like to dab it on. Oh my gosh, this camera is not doing me favours. I think it's just the lighting. Let me come here, look. 
see, it looks normal, not patchy. Some on my nose and on my apples on my cheeks because Rosie loves rosy cheeks. Anyway, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury products now. Lessons I have today. I have maths. No teacher in maths. Science. Mr. Beardwell. My first lesson, my teacher striking. Second lesson, my teacher striking. My form tutor is striking. I've got triple science today. I don't think I've actually showed you this part yet, but basically I've set up a little desk for my exams and it matches all of my vanity and like my chest of drawers, which is really cute. And my dad actually set this up. Mum brought me up some Marmite on toast. You either love or hate Marmite, there is no in between. And I actually love Marmite so much. In America, I don't think they have it. An absolute must through my exams, and mum makes me eat them every morning anyway, are these multivitamin fatines. And these are amazing, they're lemon flavoured. They do taste a bit tangy, but I don't expect them to taste actually nice because they are vitamins, but they're bearable. Like little lemon shapes. Mum says that will set me up every day. You guys haven't seen me make my bed in ages. Over the past couple of weeks when I've been doing my exams, my mum has been really helping me with making my bed, helping clearing my room, because I have just been so busy all the time, especially with doing my exams. In the past week, I've been to two red carpets, my song has came out, my music video is coming out soon, and it's just, it's just a lot currently. So mum's been really helping me. But this is me making my bed. I don't have a name for this one yet. This is Donut. And then this massive Squishmallow here is Sprinkles. I always say to myself, I want to go to the gym before school. But it's too long and too much effort. And I'm not very good at the gym. The last time I went, I couldn't walk up the stairs. Um, it was really bad. But like, I pushed myself. I went one time and I didn't eat any breakfast before and I was sick. Like, actually sick in my nan's toilet before school. Um, I'm not going to the gym. I need to get changed into my school uniform. Let's do that. Blazer! By the way guys, I am house captain. I've said this multiple times. I'm just gonna cover the motive. But this is, this is what I look like. Currently, I might put just some socks on over the top because my feet are going to be chill. Uniform is so bad. I do not like it. I cannot wait to leave and get out this uniform. I've put some like um, little frilly socks on over the top just for fun. Um, but yeah, that's it. Time to make a cup of tea. Yes. In England, as literally everybody knows, we all drink tea in the morning. And I love a good tea. I take after my mum. Sugar. I like... I don't want to spill it. So mum's made my lunch for me this morning. I have ham and avocado. I love that. I'm just going to fold this up. I've sorted crisps. Cucumber. You've got it. My water bottle. Let's put it in my bag. Guys, I'm in the car now on my way to school. Well, not on my way yet. But it is so cold in England. Like, all of the car is frosted over and we can't move yet. Because, obviously, we can't see. Um, but I'm actually scared. Well, Romeo, say hi. Hi. There's Romeo. He's. What are you eating? A crepe. He's eating a crepe. Um, I've had my mama on toast, I've had my tea, ready to go, ready for the day. Um, my first lesson is maths and the teacher's not in, so I'll, I'll tell you how that all goes. Um, I think this is going to be a fun day, but then obviously the exam results are at the end of the day, um, which will be sped up for you guys because you're not coming all through school with me. Um, but I'm actually so scared. Like, what if I don't pass? Like, 
scary. Okay, so I'm going to predict my grades. And basically, in England, we've got a different scale. We don't have like A, B, C, D. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One being really bad, nine being the best score. In English, I'm hoping for a six. I think I could well get a six. In maths, my target grade is a five, but maths is very hard. A four is maybe a B minus, maybe a high C. My best grade is going to be English, I'm pretty sure. Drama, um, I think I could get a five in drama. My target grade is a seven, which is like an A. We haven't learned all the subjects, but it's fine because we've got the real exams in June, so I'll properly revise for that. And then science, I'm one million percent gonna fail that. I'm going into school now and I will see you when I'm either in there getting my results or out of school. I'll see you in or around my school somewhere guys. So I'm outside of school now, I have my results here and um, I'm gonna open them with you guys at home. Um, I just, yeah. Guys, I'm back home now and I have the envelope here with my results in. I haven't opened it yet. But now thinking back on it, I revised, but I don't think I revised enough. Like I don't think I actually took this seriously. I am really scared and I'm, I don't think I've done well. But mum's reassured me these are only practice exams. And I actually got told by my teacher, one of her students like two years ago, got a D when she done her mocks, but then hit an A when she done her real exams. So it's a time you guys have all been waiting for. I don't think I'm gonna say, all of my exam results but I'll say the ones that I feel like I need to tell you but okay right I'm gonna open it are you crying mum um just give me this I need to process it <laughs> so these are not the results that I was hoping for I am upset most of all but realistically I just didn't re revise enough so I am going to tell you my results but only a couple I'm going to keep the other ones private so I did predict my English grade and I predicted that I would get a six I did not get a six I got a four which is in England that is a pass I did revise but I didn't revise enough I also passed textiles I got a five in that practical got very good grades and then I did predict my science grade. I said I'd fail. Lo and behold, I did fail. But only I only got a three, um, so I didn't get like a one or a two. I got a three, which is just below a pass. That there is with no revision because I revised for every other subject. Not enough, but I did revise, but I did not revise for science. So I need to start doing that. So that is my real actual exam results. And I'm not, I wasn't gonna lie to you. I'm going to tell you the exams, even if I failed all of them or if I passed all of them, no matter what but I definitely need to just put my head down and revise because I have so many revision resources all around me and I have such a long journey ahead and you guys are gonna spend it with me. So just please subscribe to this channel so you can follow my journey and hopefully get my grades up, which I will do because I will revise. So I'm aiming for that A and you all should too. So guys, from now on, I'm going to revise and I'm going to all the way up till June and then in June when I get my next results I'm going to come back here on this channel and I'm going to tell you guys I got an A. Let's do this together because if I can do it you can 1 million percent do it. So guys I really hope you like this video and thank you so much for being by my side through the good times and the bad times which is this point but the good time will be when I do my exams my actual GCSEs and I'm going to be manifesting it so yeah guys, anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, especially like this one, because I want you guys to come back and see me get the act. Basically, I love you all guys. And even if I do fan my exams, I have my music, talking about music. My music video is coming out tomorrow and I'm so excited, so definitely watch out for that. But just joking, because I am going to pass my exams. Love you all. Also guys, my new song Hurt So Good is out now. Click the bottom left square to listen. And subscribe to my channel for two videos a week. Love you all. Bye.